Hello and welcome. Let's model this bottle in on shape. So let's start with a sketch on the front plane. Um, a line from the origin upwards. Dimension is 222. Then um, another one over here, dimension 50. And then let's draw a spline. There's a spline command. I start over here, somewhere here. Some, somewhere here, and then t grab that handle here, give that an angle to that center line of 35 degrees, and dimension that point here horizontal distance 45 and a vertical distance of 96 then make a horizontal constraint between those two points here dimension that handle with a 44 and give that a vertical constraint here and dimension this here as a diameter of 28 and give that an equal constraint here sketch is fully defined exit that sketch now on that very same plane let's make one more sketch again a spline place that coincident on that other spline line and again the bottom one as well um and place one more here um, insert spline point here, somewhere here, pull that out, and dimension that handle with a 38, and the vertical distance from the top vertex with a 44, bottom Distance here is uh, 22 and um, that handle here is 8 millimeters. Dimension that spline point um, with a distance to the center line of 72 and a height of 66 all right now let's um, apply a tangent constraint between that handle and our spline and let's do that same thing here at the bottom so um, T for tangent, take the line there, and we again we get a fully defined sketch here. Accept that. Now let's define planes with uh, plane points. Take the top plane and that point. All right, so that we get that plane. Do that one more time for 
that vertex. All right. Now let's take that Alex command with the option of selecting an axis. And there we can take that one. Now um, leave it at turns at start angle zero degrees and here start radius 66 and condition height and 188 and make that uh, 0.4 turn. All right, that is the result of that. Let's keep that sketch one visible and make a revolve, a surface revolve of that edge around that axis. Let's make a projected curve of our helix curve with the option normal to target and our target is that surface body. So that is that projected curve. Okay, we can hide our initial helix. And now let's make another revolve. For that, I'll, I'll hide that surface for clarity. Go into the revolve again, surface revolve of that first sketch. And now let's split that surface at the with those planes here. So take the split command, uh, surface part with sketch uh, with plane one and plane two. Well, we're going to do it in two parts. Okay, we got here now that surface, that one. And now with that plane. All right. So that is the projected helix on that outer surface. And now let's project it to that surface right here. So make that helix visible again. Go to a projected curve. Take that helix again. Go to normal to target. Target is that one right there. Now um, let's make a pattern, a circular pattern of our projected curve on that inner surface axis is that one and now let's make that an 18 degree angle with an instant count of two all right so those are those two curves here okay we can hide that surface and well, we can hide our helix. So now we get um, those three curves. Well, I did one thing. Um, um, I didn't check that box here, centered. So I want this curve on the left, that one on the right, and that one here um, in the middle. And that one, that is curve number three, we can hide that. We don't need that anymore. Now let's draw a profile on that sketch plane. That'll be a three-point arc connecting that vertex and that one. Placing that over here. And... Um, make that a concentric constraint between 
that edge um, of our bottom surface right here. Right, that's it for that sketch. Let's do that again for um, that plane here. So, three point arc, end point and end point. Place that here. Concentric between those two. All right. Okay, maybe I will hide those two planes. And um, those surfaces, that bottom one, the top one. And there we have all we need for our loft. We can hide that sketch one for a moment and go into the loft command. So we're in the surface, new loft. Take that bottom profile, take that top profile, go to guides and continuity and pick our three curves. There it is. All right. Um, let's show sketch one again to have an axis for our circular pattern. Take that thing here. Take that axis and make that a count of 10. Accept that. Well, okay, we got all those surfaces here. Um, make that an add. All right, so we got one. Now let's show that bottom surface there and that top one and make a Boolean between those here. And then um, make a fill bottom here, adding to our surface body and let's do the same thing over here, all right. So now we get a solid part here, okay, and this we can shell. I'll give it a shell of one meter and take off that top removing that top surface there takes some time to calculate but eventually we get our surface body here I'll hide that sketch there and for better looks give that an appearance, um, maybe you like that purple here. And this is how you can project curves to surfaces and create this type of body. Well, I hope you liked that video. If you did, um, you might consider liking, subscribing and commenting on on this and i hope to see you in the next video